Today, what I want to talk about is the limited amount of time here. We've got about 14 minutes, okay? And I want to talk to you about, guys today about sense of urgency and fear of loss. I want to talk to you about that as a topic because obviously, you know, we're doing a lot of prospecting here, right? We're sharing a lot of information very rapidly through Prospect by Legal Shield and, and, and utilizing the system and inviting to the two o'clock presentation. You know, the 2 p.m. presentation, for example, today or the 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. tonight, right? We know Central Standard Time, check your time zones. But the 2 p.m. today, we're going to be having Jim Gavin out of Minnesota. This guy's a six-figure ringer, a millionaire club member, very smooth. He's got the one-liners and just throwbacks that you've never even maybe heard that you could be implementing in your business as it applies to the changes that we've seen. He's made great adaptations. He's doing a tremendous job. And we want to get people on that call with Jim today. You know, tomorrow on Thursday, we're going to have, you know, again, the great Jason Oltoff, who's on this call on, on the regular. And then I'll be back again on Friday, 2 p.m. But we're driving that 2 p.m. call, guys, and it's loading up like crazy. But how are we driving it? We're driving it with sense of urgency and fear of loss. We're driving the videos that we're asking people to take a look at with what? Sense of urgency and fear of loss, right? That's what really you want to do. Like we've always talked about, and I always share as I've been training for, for many years, you know, in, in sales and marketing, again, you want to have, you know, favorable cir circumstances and predictable results. And we always want to work from that, right? And how do you create favorable cir circumstances and predictable results? Well, number one, you stick with the system. And the system is prospect by legal shield. The system is the Zoom presentations. The system is a three-way call. The system is uh, getting people to do a, 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 a four-minute welcome uh, welcome call, right? Or sorry, the four-minute pre-launch, right? So the system is a four-minute pre-launch. I did a four-minute pre-launch last night, and we had four people on. It went really well. It was a call that was less than four minutes. It was tremendous. The system says we're going to launch your business with a private Zoom conference call, right? That's the system, right? So we always want to stick with predictable results and favorable circumstances. You want to master the system. But a part of the system is what we do in between. The little one percent that seem to make no difference in the act of doing them that make all the difference in the world, okay? And that is sense of urgency and fear of loss. It's just how you communicate, right? And the bottom line was, you know, we had a great training and a presentation for Mr. Darnell Self on this very topic over the weekend on our uh, international uh, leadership convention that just happened just this past weekend. And what Darnell had the opportunity to talk to us about was, again, the uh, the uh, Manager Madness program right now. Manager Madness, where the new associate gets in in the month of October. By the way, they were only going to have it until the 10th. Okay, so again, sense of urgency, fear of loss. Pay attention, guys. Which make sure you understand. It was only going to be until the 10th, right? And then they said, hey, we're going to extend it till the 31st. You're going to get a run with it all month. And it went from manager madness to manager mania. I know they don't call it that, but that's what we're calling it, right? So then manager madness is now manager mania. And why? Sense of urgency and fear of loss. And, and let me share with you what I mean by sense of urgency and fear of loss, right? So here's the deal. You get $1,000, a new associate comes on board, okay, in the month of October and makes it to the manager level in their first 45 days, they're going to get $1,000 instead of $750, okay? If they get to a senior manager in their first 90 days and they were recruited in the month of October, they're going to get $1,000 there as well instead of $750, right? They still get 100 bucks for, you know, you know, fast start qualifying and that's all good well, right? We got to go to fast start training. It's important, right? Make sure we get everybody fast start training, but here's the deal. Listen, and here's my conversation, and this is the conversation I'm having with all of the people that I'm sharing information with, right, that are on my Prospect by Legal Shield is we're going to get active, reaching out and making attempts and following up with people that we've been sharing the video with and getting into conversation with them, right? Hey, what'd you like best about what you saw? You know, we talk about the trial close. What was it about that that you liked? Do you see an opportunity for yourself here on a scale of one to 10, one being the lowest, 10 being the highest? Where do you see yourself? Oh, you're an eight. What would it make to make you a 10, Right. And many times it might be the ninety nine dollars or it might be they're just not you know fully ready yet. They haven't seen enough social evidence. Right. We want to also make sure that we're working hard to, you know, to control the three way. We don't want to let them get in a situation where they're getting into their own three way call with their negative relative who's never seen the presentation, isn't in the business, doesn't have residual income. Right. You know, like nothing they're going for. That person is doing right. We don't want to do that. Right. We want to control what we call social proof. Right. So we can share more testimonials via prospect by legal shield or we can do three way calls and again, rapid fire three way calls with other individuals and getting them on the phone and getting them that social proof and social evidence. But once you have them 
at that stage, right? They're they're like they're ripe, okay? They're ripe. They're like low hanging fruit, and and so is what you're doing here is you're you're kind of cultivating, if you will. That's a great way to put it, right, Josh? It's cult. You're cultivating a prospect that is really ready to go ahead and either jump or fall from the tree, right? You understand? Jump or fall from the tree, and then here's how it works. Okay, here's my conversation. Say, listen, Joe. Man, super excited. I caught you. This has been amazing. I, you know, I know that you're an eight and this is what we need to do to kind of get you to a 10. And so listen, I just want to have a conversation with you real quick. So you understand a promotion that the company has going on right now in the month of October. And so simply put is this, we've got this program called Future Leaders of Legal Shield. And so what happens normally is you come into Legal Shield and you get in your first, you know, for, you know, uh, 20 to 90 days, there's $1,600 in bonuses on the table that you could qualify for. But if you get in the month of October, they bump that up to $2,100 in potential bonus money that you could earn in your first 20 to 90 days. And one of those programs is called Manager or Future Leaders of Legal Shield. And the next level up is what we call Senior Manager. And what they've done is they've taken that from $750 and they bumped it up to $1,000, okay? And then they bumped the Senior Manager up to $1,000 also as well. And then in addition to that, they bumped up the matching bonuses to the sponsor and the leadership team where they're going to match it at a thousand dollars also as well for them to help you really get rocking in the business now here's the deal we've got a lot of people that are very excited about this promotion that I'm talking to right now people just like you that are looking at this business they're very close to making a decision matter of fact I've got quite a few of them lined up for Friday that are ready to go ahead and jump in and get positioned on this opportunity uh, even more before the end of the month uh, but here's the deal right? I like to make sure that when we build, I always offer the opportunity, the first person I talk to, okay, the chance to kind of get in in front of that because I build what are called lines of sponsorship. And the very next person that I recruit is going to go under the last person that I recruited. So for example, if you got in now, all the people that I'm looking at putting in by Friday and all the other people that I'm looking at putting in before the end of the month are going to end up in your organization, which means you're going to benefit uh, in your fast start qualification and, and you're going to override that business, meaning every time somebody on the, in that business, in that line of sponsorship markets memberships, you have the potential of earning overrides that for people that you didn't even bring in. Matter of fact, some of them can blow up. We have no idea what's going to happen, but it's a great opportunity for you. So I just need to know, would you rather be on top? or on bottom? Like, where would you like to be in the positioning and in getting involved? Because here's the deal. If you can make that decision today, I'm going to go ahead and drop you in. It only takes about four minutes to sign you up. So let me ask you a question. Again, on a scale of one to 10, one being the lowest, 10 being the highest, where are you right now? And they're like, I'm, I'm a 10, man. <laughs> like, like, let me get my credit card out. Look, this takes four minutes. Boom, let's drop you in. Do you understand, right? Again, you always want to have something, right? And we used to always have, like, the company used to change the entry level of cost. It was like, you know, one month it'd be 99. And the next month it'd be 149. And the month after that, it, you know, originally it was 249. It was at 199. And they'd come all the way down. If they want a real spurt, they'd drop it to 49. The company's never going to do that ever again. They made that promise to us a long time ago. And it's been fixed at $99, it's not going to change. But what is going to change is your opportunity to take advantage of certain incentives that create sense of urgency and fear of loss for you in the world of Legal Shield. And so, so with that said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send it over to my good friend, Josh, and just kind of get some comments from him. I, I know he utilizes this method also as well. Want to hear from Letitia Randolph also as well. And then we're going to get into some activity. So Josh, over to you. Absolutely. Um, you know, being somebody who, you know, recruits a lot of folks, you um, you know, in our mind, when we think of, uh, you know, recruiting numbers, we're like, I'm going to go out and I'm going to recruit all these people. You know, we think of it, it very in a linear sense, right? Oh, I'm going to recruit one person a week. I'm going to recruit two people a week or whatever the case may be. And I'm not saying that you can't, but what the, the reality of it, of how it tends to work out is, you know, especially when you're really, you know, doing what Scott's talking about, it, you know, going out and talking to lots of people is, um, you know, it, it takes some time to prime the pump, like he was talking about, uh, you know, kind of cultivate uh, those relationships, not, and not even relationships per se, but, you know, get, get the social proof and all the steps uh, from, you know, not knowing to now I'm comfortable, ready to make a decision. And what tends to happen, because of the sense of urgency, you'll, you'll like have them pile up. And so like, I, I remember times where, you know, it's like, oh, man, I went like a week or two and didn't recruit anybody. But then all of a sudden, I recruited like, 
five people in one week or five people in a day. And I'm, I'm looking at my board over here on my, my hot prospect list. And there, there's a bunch of them on there. There's, I don't know, there's probably 10 of, of them on there or something. And, you know, I also know that I'm not going to get all 10, right. That that's not going to happen. Even though they all said they want to get started, it's not going to happen. It's just, just, it is what it is. However, uh, I did the very thing he was talking about last night. I had two personal Zooms back to back. They'd already seen the information. We were just kind of getting on Zoom. Both of them want to get started. And I said, you know, I told them both. I said, hey, look, you know, I'm about to get on Zoom with somebody else or I just got off of Zoom with somebody else. And look, if we can get you started first, you know, I, I can put them on your team. That'll give you the ability to have somebody already on your team to get your first promotion in addition to that. Now you have somebody on your team that you can earn the residual income off. Is that something you want to take advantage of? And they're like, Hey, absolutely. You know, one said I can do it now. One said, Hey, I need until next week. And I said, well, Hey, I can't promise anything for next week, but Hey, you know, we can still, you know, we still have the bonus, you know, the thousand dollar bonus. And so, you know, it's, it's just about the art of promotion, creating a sense of urgency. Um, you know, a lot of times people want to, when, when they're unsure, they slow things down. When we're unsure, we slow things down when, when, like he was talking about, when we let our belief go from a hundred to, to 95 or 86, you know, we tend to slow down a little bit, really try to get a sense of, and then that's, that really doesn't help anybody ever. You know, uh, sometimes you maybe need to readjust and, but we're not talking about that, right? We're talking about activity, you know, making things happen. We're talking about taking the Letitia Randolph approach and just, you know, getting it done in big and large numbers. And, uh, you know, Almost to the point, I would encourage you, almost to the point where you are talking to so many people, you feel a bit overwhelmed, right? If you can like easily manage everything, you're not talking to enough people. When you start, people like falling through the cracks and, and you, you have like this whole like basket full of prospects and you're like, oh, there goes one. Oh, my two <laughs> o'clock canceled. Don't care because I had another two o'clock. I don't even know how I was going to see them both anyway. Now you can operate from a position of power, a position of strength. You don't, you don't need anybody you know, somebody's like, well, you know, I'll, I'll do this. I'll get back to you. Say, okay, hey, I'll get back to you when I can, you know, blah, 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 and moving on. So, you know, if you implement all these things, you're going to have more strength, more power, more confidence uh, when you're going out there and get it done. And it's fun because now you actually have something to offer, right? If you only have one recruit, potentially one really good prospect, you're just like hoping that they get in. But if you have five, 10, 15 hot prospects, now you can do what Scott's saying. You can build in depth. You can you can place. It's a whole lot of fun. And, uh, you know, that's a good thing because you don't need any one person. Now, you want everybody, but you don't need any one person. So uh, back over to you, Scott. I love that, man. Press down, shaking together and running over. I so many in your basket. They're just like falling out. Like, you're like, okay, I get to the next one. And, you know, I always get asked Josh a lot and, uh, and Letitia is like, how far down do you, do you go? I, I don't break the chain. I don't break the chain till I pop somebody that's going to be like explosive because the bigger the chain, I got a chain right now. It's about 12, 13, 14 deep right now. And I'm still going, I'm driving it down because some people are starting to pop, but it's the glue that binds us and people stay in the game, just knowing that they're in that chain. And then they see the communication that I'm putting out and eventually they show up. Like you think that they're gone and they're actually, they're just kind of sitting off the side, just kind of monitoring, like they're in, right? Like they didn't cancel their membership. They, they may have put their you know legal shield advantage on pause, but they'll turn it back on, right? And then they begin to jump on the trainings and you see them, we had a few on the trainings last night that I haven't heard a peep out of for 30 days. All of a sudden there they were popped up on the training. So again, Again, you know, you just drive and you build, but again, fear of loss and sense of urgency. And what Josh is talking about is you're just helping people to really low hanging fruit, ready to make a decision. Go ahead and make a decision now instead of wait. Oh, well, I'll, I need to wait. No, no, they, they they're going to lose if they wait. Do you understand? So people would go, like, hey, you know what? Maybe I was, I was holding off, but I'm going to go ahead and do it now. That's what you're looking for. I was holding off because... But since you shared that with me, I'm going to go ahead and sign up today, right? And then boom, 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 and you just start loading them up. And the next thing you know, you're like Letitia Randolph, and you got like, you know, 15 private Zoom conference calls going on a week and three-way calls busted out and hitting executive director. And then, again, like that, that's how it happens, right, Letitia? So, so listen, Letitia, I'm going to send it out to you, our hostess with the most is to kind of just add to the back end on this, and then let's get into some activity together. Out to you. Thank you so much, Mr. Scantlin, Mr. Lockhart. Great comment. I heard that scripture reference. I know what that is. Press <laughs> down, shake it together, and run it over. And Josh does too. He's PK. Um, so and PK stands for preacher's kid, for those who don't know. I really like what you're saying, cultivating. It's really important to do that. And I think what I like to talk to my team about is 
you're building a pipeline. So these people are coming in, all those people on Josh's list that he says are, are there, and he knows they're not all starting right now. He's going to get some of them, but he's building this pipeline of people that you can call upon as you're going through and coming back to those for when they're ready because people are ready at different times and being able to just share that information and make sure they get what they need so they feel comfortable and like you all said, have the social proof and, and really get everything that they would they feel like, okay, this is what I want to do. But then adding what you said, Scott, that sense of urgency and the fear of loss to help move them to make that decision. Hey, here's a reason why you should start right now. Here's a reason why you shouldn't wait and that can get people excited, excited, and especially if you're excited about it. So I think I would add to that, make sure your energy matches the urgency and the uh, fear of loss. So you're not just like, yeah, you know, if you get started on, uh, like that's boring. You're just like, hey, listen, I, we got this promotion going on right now. It's time sensitive. If you get started today, you can be ahead of the game. You could be the next person that's doing this. You could, So you're painting this picture for them of what it could be and getting them excited about it. And so that's what I'd have to say about that. Thank you.